Hello everyone, this is a new series that we will model and design this building to resist the lateral load, seismic and wind load using the UBC code. We will model this building using ETABS and maybe later on we will use a robot or Tecla structure and uh, compare the uh, results. For now we have this uh, plan clean the plan from furniture and maybe kitchens and other uh, unneeded elements leave the walls doors uh, windows and balconies to put your structural er elements on this plan There are many different systems to the to resist the, the lateral loads. I will try to focus on the shear wall, the concrete shear wall, to design to resist these systems. Okay, so you have to create in AutoCAD a layer for each element, a layer that you know its name for each element. To do this, go to Layer Properties, click on New and give it any name that you know and a color a different color for each layer go to the plan and place the shear walls and columns in the walls try not to close any window as i did or pu to put uh, any column in the middle of any room if you had to then check your or review your architect Try to have a similar spans uh, between your vertical elements in both uh, sides and try to cover the four corners of the staircase and all other uh, corners. Try to uh, use uh, the same length for all uh, shear walls as possible as you can and the same width I use uh, I used uh, a 25 centimeters uh, thickness for all shear walls after designing maybe uh, in the first uh, stories uh, the uh, thickness will be increased and for uh, columns I used uh, 25 by uh, 60 centimeters uh, I will not draw the beams in uh, this uh, DXF you can draw beam uh, in uh, DXF file but I have only one beam in, the in this place I will draw it in uh, ETABS Try to have a good distribution for uh, the shear walls, uh, don't focus on one side uh, In any force parallel to the Y direction, we have enough uh, shear walls We have enough shear walls and it's uh, symmetric For uh, any force, any lateral force that is uh, parallel to the X direction, we have good number of shear walls it's not symmetric but it's okay for the slab draw the outside border lines of uh, the plan you can leave uh, this uh, 10 or uh, 20 centimeters for the hooks but um, this may uh, make uh, some problems in meshing in e tabs so it's better to uh, cut your slab to the face or center line of the uh, vertical elements we will try bo both uh, solutions in e tabs for now it's okay to leave this uh, offset for the stairs there are many opinions or solutions you can leave it as opening and uh, model it in uh, SAP calculate the loads and then assign it on the uh, frame or shear wall or you can model it in, uh, as an inclined slab in uh, ETABS or leave it uh, closed and assign the stairs, stairs loads on ETABS 
uh, there are uh, many different opinions for uh, uh, s s for stairs and etabs i will leave it opening and assign a frame and assign a load on this shear wall or maybe a frame if it's uh, if i designed the slab as a ho a hollow block slab later on and uh, I will assign the stairs load on this frame, this beam in etabs. Now we have this clean uh, plan that we can easily import it to etabs and convert these uh, different layers to the needed sections. We only have to draw the beams in, uh, in etabs and later on after designing after running uh, the analysis we will uh, change uh, maybe we will increase uh, the columns in the first floors or, or the th thickness of the shear walls maybe the place of the shear walls okay now we have uh, to make sure that uh, the properties of our lines is uh, suitable for uh, etabs to do this the slabs will uh, the slabs have uh, to be uh, drawn as a polyline uh, that means if we select any uh, side or any line of uh, the slab all the other sides or lines will be selected uh, we can make sure uh, that it's a polyline by clicking right click and properties and as uh, we see it's a polyline the columns too we have to draw it as polyline too shear walls uh, we can draw only the center line for the shear walls if we did that we have to draw it as uh, a normal line not polyline but uh, if we draw uh, if we draw it as we see with uh, thickness we can draw it as a polyline uh, or as a line um, if we by mistake draw the slab as line we can easily uh, convert these lines to polyline by selecting all lines and type join and now it's polyline and if you want to convert from polyline to normal lines select your polyline and uh, use the explode command now we have this uh, clean plan with the right uh, line properties you you have to know which unit you are using in uh, this project or this model we are using meters you can now copy copy this plan and paste it in a new folder try to p uh, paste it uh, near the origin with uh, the positive uh, direction and now you have to save it as a dxf file save as and choose a dxf try to choose an older version of dxf uh, files maybe uh, any old version and uh, then save it in uh, a folder that you know where it is now we have the dxf file and it's ready to be imported make sure to close uh, the dxf file before importing to etabs i will upload this uh, dxf file and put the uh, link in the description so that you can work with me and compare the results uh, if you found any mistake or if you have any questions just write in the comment section and I will answer don't forget to like this video